By tradition, it is Chief Rabbi Beryl Lazar who lit the seven candles of the Hanukkah menorah. Moscow Jews were not able to hold public celebrations on the first day of the Hanukkah festival, as the tradition prescribes. Because of the mass scale electoral protests in Moscow, the festivities were put off until the seventh day. Sometimes, when the darkness is all around us and the darkness reigns in the minds, a person can lose heart and say, I cannot light my candle, I cannot fight the evil that surrounds us. But Hanukkah teaches us that everyone's soul holds tremendous potential if he lights his candle. Hanukkah is accompanied with singing and dancing, but the festival has a profound religious meaning. It derives its origin from a miracle that occurred during the rededication of the Second Temple in Jerusalem. The Jewish people needed some lighting oil for a celebration service, marking their victory over the Greeks. Unfortunately, they saw that they only had one underfilled pitcher that would have lasted for one day at the most. But a miracle happened, and the menorah was set alight for the whole of the eight days. There are as many candles on the menorah as the days during which the Jewish people remember that miracle. We begin with the first one and then light the others after. There are thousands or even tens of thousands of places in Moscow where the menorah is lit, both in private houses and in synagogues. The last candle will be lit on December the 27th, the last day of Hanukkah.